Sekina Vinci Bahamide. I'm first year student for medical physics. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Nofara Ashka Vinci Abuzeshi. I am first year engineering physics student from School of Physics. Oh, hi. My name is Ruth Marina Justin. I'm a first year student, pure physics program from School of Physics. We are from group 28. Please stick around until the end of this video so that you guys can gain free knowledge and increase your intelligence. So let's get started. brought along a very special guest and we're going to ask her just simple questions about the topic that we are going to discuss today. Are you ready? No. Yes, I am ready. Um, doctor, my first question is, as an oncologist, which is a doctor who treats cancer, do you use any devices when treating your cancer patients? Of course, we do have. Uh, what is it? It is called the... Magnetic Hypothermia Device. So, Magnetic hypothermia device is a medical device that can treat cancer based on the fact that magnetic nanoparticles can transform electromagnetic energy into heat energy from external high frequency field. is doctor um what is the concept that is used behind this device it uses the concept of injecting ferrite nanoparticles or magnetic nanoparticles in particular magnetite or magnetite into the lymphatic channels to heat up the residual cancer cells under alternating magnetic field. Is there anything that you want to add, doctor? These magnetic nanoparticles, they act as internal heating sources under an alternating magnetic field that can increase the temperature of the surroundings. Thank you for the answers, doctor. Thanks for helping me out. Well, I don't understand why people say that we look so alike. Um, okay, let's proceed. My friend will now talk about nanoparticle heating. Nanoparticle heating uses a magnetic hyperthermia instrument for cancer research and as a supplement to chemotherapy treatment. So, how do you use this instrument? This video demonstrates the nanoparticle heating using a HEPA-7 magnetic hyperthermia instrument. Frequency is 
frequency of oppression is 100 until 450 kHz. Power strength is 5 until 12 kW. Field strength is 10 until 80 kA per watt. Why? For 120mm heating coil is specially designed and it is rated at 25 kA per meter. It is also suitable for mid-sized animal treatment such as cats, dogs, and rabbits. Now, I will state the advantage and disadvantage of many hyperdemia devices. For the advantage, these devices have high efficacy for low heating temperature due to the intracellular heat and it is possibility to target the tumor. For this advantage, these devices uh, can increase the drug accumulation in tumor and have high ability to algebra in biological system. Broadly, the present invention relates to high fitting devices that is capable of use in the field of biomedicine. Typically, in combination with the use of nanoparticles, the operation of which is compatible with biological system and where the delivery hyperthermic effect is controllable.